Good afternoon. We are here again for another episode of 30 for 30. Yesterday we spoke about having our horses approaching a tarp uh, that is on the ground. Today uh, we're going to try to expose Stormborn and you guys at home, of course, your horses uh, to the tarp that actually approaches them. So, first of all, my suggestion is hold your tarp as close as, as, as small as you can. Now he's standing over with his nose, so if I, would go, I was going to pick it up, I don't want to raise it up underneath of his chin, under the blind spot. I might try to hold it a little bit more. I know. A little more. You have your tarp. Same thing we did with the as with the flag. I'm gonna approach my horse and start petting him with that. Now I use a tarp that is very heavy. Uh, if you have it, use a smaller tarp. So you're gonna pet your horse with your right hand. A little bit like we did with the flag. Both places. Turn around. I'll do the other side. Do the other side. Pat him where I where I can. Down. Over. Good. Perhaps we start with this side. Again, I'm going to make a separation for my tarp to be something that creates energy to something that it means nothing. Creates energy. My energy first comes from the inside. We're not going to cheat and just have the tarp. Because the goal is I send them from my inside and I have to do nothing from my outside, right? So you do the same exercise. Our hind quarters, front quarters. Not to focus on my maneuvers to be really perfect. He's very slow at this time, but that's good. He's waiting for it. He's stopping. Good. As your horse gets good at this movement, here I had to tap him a little bit because he wouldn't go forward. I'll raise it up, set it on the side, put it up. Right? So, as your horse gets good with that, you can probably start doing the same exercise but with your tarp open. So, and here, it just depends how big is your tarp and how much your horse can take in that time. We might try to push it a little bit with storm because you see him, he's like, he wouldn't care. So, maybe my tarp gets quite larger. And here I'm gonna have the tarp that flops around my horse as I take, as I send him in a circle, as I take his hind, or change direction and take the front quarters across. You can even think about trotting him. The tarp might fall. So you have to be ready with that. What happened? I don't know. We'll see what Sormon does if the tarp falls from him. You are no fun. Hind quarters, good. Front quarter, perfect. So that's a little bit what I would do with my with my horse if I was stuck at home and I wanted to expose him to different things that uh, can happen on a tray ride, on a show, anywhere. You know. So what is it? Like Christine says, you might know your horse, but you don't know your surroundings. So sometimes we can just have to, we just have to 
create the surrounding uh, for our horses to, like I'm supposed to. Don't make that face like I'm, this is the worst thing you have ever done in your life. So I'm gonna go, keep going with Sormborn with the tarp and see uh, what can we experiment perhaps and how large that tarp can go. And uh, let me know if something is not clear and thanks again for your attention.